Let's roll the street. Building seven. You're saying my equipment. Apartment. Please explain how my equipment makes me impersonate a police officer. Let's roll the street. Impersonating a police officer requires a three prong. It requires me to dress as, act as, and make somebody do something as they believe that I'm a police officer. So when did I make somebody do something with them believing I was a police officer? Get the fuck over! What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing, dumb fuck? Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop pretending you're a police officer. Why oh, you have handcuffs? Make sure you have your body cameras running. Body cameras are running. Why do you have handcuffs? I'm not talking to you, officer. Okay. Here's okay. the funny thing, before the weird thing is, is that you think you know about me? I served as a cop. Yeah. I served as a cop. So you were a police? Oh, Orlando. Orlando. Wow. I served for 12 years in the U.S. Army. Okay. This is a police escort. Hey! 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 Pull over! Pull over! Hey! Pull your fucking car over! Pull over! stole a police car. Now I'm going to jail for something I did. Well, there we go. <laughs> Silver linings. Is there any damage? I don't see any, no. Corporal. Melchior, I just yelled at Melchior's going back, I think. I yelled at him when he was walking up and he turned around, so I'm assuming he's headed back over there. I know you hate me right now, we have, but is there any way... I don't hate you. This is hilarious. Is yeah. Best thing that happened to me in a while. Listen, my well, phone is in the car. We're not going. I'm not giving you anything out of that car. I just. I'm not going to assume anything in that car is yours and not stolen. You were crying up a storm. I need those numbers on that phone. If they're not in your head, I'm sorry. I'm not going to assume anything in that car is yours and not stolen. You won't be able to use your phone. All I'm going to say that. That is the kind of fucking. There was no ID in any one of the four persons in there. Because I was. There's 18 cell phones in there. I'm not going to assume any of them are yours. Not 18. Okay, I apologize. I'm exaggerating. There was like five or six at least in the front seat. So I'm not going to assume anything in that car is yours. No, I'm talking about your question. Rhetorical? I think it's rhetorical is the word you're looking for. <laughs> rhetorical is a question asked that doesn't need an answer. Hypothetical is a question asked about some event that didn't really happen. Thank you for the English lesson. You're welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. And stealing is yeah, what you did. Borrowed. Borrowed. That was McKenzie. <laughs> 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 Fucking sergeant already knows. <laughs> 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 Fucking sergeant already knows. <laughs> I guess Randy's listening to the radio, his brother, and he's like, you need to call Butter now. He's that's a, <coughs> he's not going to live this down for the rest of the year, that's for sure. He said, well, he said, he may well, have is he his... all pissed off? Like, I don't know. Everybody fucking left. <laughs> he's, 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 he's hitchhiking, out, he's hitchhiking down Memorial the, right now. He's hanging out in the lobby of the village, not going to get a cup of coffee or something. You know, you could have got shot pretty easily. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, I think this is your ride. So you got a cage? Uh, this will be tougher to steal. This is one of our updated hard to steal models. If she can get out there. Not even mad. <laughs> I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. She slipped her cuffs to the front and then, so we look up and she's like standing up and saying, what is she doing? And she just like hopped over the center, right down into the seat.
traffic stop, you are not legally allowed to walk up and interfere with our traffic stop. You can stand back and record as much as you want to. But if you interfere with the traffic stop again, I'm going to arrest you for interfering. Okay. You understand that? Don't ever interfere when one of my guys is on a traffic stop. Okay? My name is Sergeant Dave Ernst. I'm with the State Police Gang Task Force. All right? This is your last warning. If you ever walk up on one of my officers during a traffic stop, I will place you under arrest. All right. You good? Yes. All right. You're free to go. Okay. Did you want to talk to us? Am I being detained? What? No, you will never be detained. Okay. Ever. Is that person being detained? He was none of your business. It's none of your business. I think it is my business. How is it your business? Because I'm a human being and I... You have no interest in that traffic stop whatsoever. It's none of your business. There is a lot of it's racial profiling in this oh, town. Oh, shut up with that crap. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of, hey, there's a lot of idiots yourself, officer. In yep. Go, just go. You're drunk. You're good. Go ahead. No, I can stay and talk anytime I want to. Go ahead. Ready to protect yourself. Excuse me? We have a Ready live video yourself. going right now. I'm talking about racial profiling. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Who's being racially profiled? That individual. For, for being in a gang? For what? Exactly. Just being brown. For being brown. Yes. Exactly. Wow. You are you are about as ignorant as I've ever met. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, my <laughs> goodness. You're the one who's making these things happen, oh, sir. Oh, my God. Yes. You guys, go do something else. Go have fun. Go do something. It's Friday night, man. Don't be such an idiot. Stupid people. Put that on the website so much. I've seen enough George movies. Is that it? Oh, I know. You're good. And now I'm never coming back here. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Grab, grab my wrist. So yes, ma'am. Grab my wrist. <laughs> lean forward. Lean forward. Just come on and lean over and keep oh. climbing those steps. There you go. You're in a boat. It don't matter how you got here. That's the woman's friend on the end of the other boat. I think she's got words for you. You are welcome. I'm gonna kill you. I told you she had words. You can't even arrest me in two hours from now. <laughs> it was the woman's friend that actually flipped the jet ski that they were both on. Would you like a water? No. It's fresh water. <laughs> Yes, you did. Yes, ma'am. But you got to ride on a sheriff's boat. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Would you like a bottle of water? No, you don't deserve it. <laughs> Tourists finish their vacation without further incident. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have a guys the, the awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hop. 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 Move. 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 3600, 1028, 1028, Bourbon Street. Uh, head right by our crazy corner. 95 feet subject. Crazy corner. Still going down for Correction. Uh, yeah, correction. Just took a right. Just took a right. We're going towards the station. On raw. We got him down in the uh, in the construction subject, construction area right here in Royal Street. Do you have a driver's license? Uh, sir, I'm gonna have to. I have all my information on that. Well, I need a photo ID here in the state of Texas in order to identify you. I've stopped you for a moving violation. It's legal to do. You have no front license plate. Okay, I'm not a. Robert, I'm a traveler. Okay. As a Mr. traveler. Mr. Ripson. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Sure. We're not here to discuss the politics of what you believe and don't believe in. Sure. We respect that view. Sure. But you've got to understand that uh, for the most part, all voters are required to have a driver's license and show proof of insurance while traveling the state of Texas. Sorry. You decided to take it or go to You today. still have no front license plate. Okay. Your choice. But I'm just saying that. I don't want to read it. This is about the ticket. I don't care. 
It's not an admission of guilt, simply an agreement that you contact our court within 12 business days. Down at the bottom, on the signature line. You come down to court, you can bring those documents, and if it's valid, then let the judge deal with it. Spelled duress wrong. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? D-U-R-E-S-S. Wrong. If you're going to be confrontational, you need to spell it right, okay? The litter is not kept, okay? Now, you shouldn't put your seatbelt on. You should obey all the Texas rules. You may not think the rules, but guess what? They are. And if you don't, if you get out of here and we see you make a violation, we're going to pull you over and we're going to take you to jail. Do you understand those constitutional rights? Yes, sir. Good. Because you do have a criminal history. And should you wish to take this to court, everything I said to you is being recorded and photographed right now. You got it, 382. Yeah. I could hand you a piece of paper telling you I don't want to give it to you, but that's not how we operate. You want to operate outside the rules, but you don't want everybody else to make it anything valid. You should have read up on that, okay? Go back to your law library and check that out. What I think happens, last time you arrest for DWI, is you got us yourself a jailhouse lawyer in there next to you saying, hey, here's what you need to do to mess with the police, okay? Well, guess what? I've been doing this 33 years. I don't care, all right? Now, listen closely. Do not leave the parking lot when driving their vehicle. It's illegal, okay? Look at me. Do you understand me? I do. Good. I want to see those eyes. I want to make sure you understand, because I'm, I'm not thinking everything's all there. Here's one. Here's one.